we'll wait and weather. Foggy, frosty start to the day. We did see some sun, but it didn't feel real warm no, out there. No, it didn't. A chilly day. Yeah. yeah, a lot of wind out there, and that's what we'll be battling the next 24 mm. hours, even though the thermometers say we're well above average for this mm. time of the year. Here's what we have to look forward, though, as we take a look at our Arctic blobcast. Pulled this out of the back pocket because we haven't had a lot of Arctic air to worry about this winter. But as we go through the week, we're going to get through most of the week with the blues. That's mild, above average temperatures here in the northern plains. Watch this purple stuff, though. That's an Arctic air mass that will spiral its way down through the northern plains as we go through the weekend. And on Sunday, when we're playing football in Minneapolis, it looks like some mighty chilly air will be making its way in. Right now, it's windy. Feels like 6. The temperature still, though, in the 20s. Your average high for this time of the year, 18 degrees. So still above average even at this hour of the night. Winds gusting over 30 miles per hour. Grand Forks right now, 22. Wind from the south at 26 miles per hour. That dew point temperature is 14 degrees. Here's a look elsewhere. 20s through the Red River Valley. Wapton, you have 19. 23 for Valley City and on Devil's Lake right now, it's 20 degrees. Look at D the Detroit Lakes area at 25. Rozo's still 28. Factor in those winds from the south, and we have wind chills that are in the single digits, but all locations holding above zero. At this point, a lot of clear skies here across the Red River Valley, eastern North Dakota, western Minnesota, along the international border, a few clouds skirting through, and we'll see an increase in clouds there. Storm system trying to organize itself in the Rocky Mountains of the central and southern portions of the Rocky Mountains. Now, as we go through the overnight tonight, those clouds kind of skirt along the northern counties. Temperatures fall slowly. The wind stays persistent, gusting over 20 miles per hour all night. That means certain roads will have that snow that will continually be blown over the top of the roads, keeping them pretty slippery. So watch for those slippery roads. Also, thanks to that south wind having more moisture, we could have some of that frost again on area roads. Taking a look tomorrow morning, that storm system starts to develop and make its way out of Texas, and it will be making its way to the northern plains late tomorrow. So we'll see an increase in clouds in our southern and eastern counties, but no precipitation that will be significant expected. The wind will gradually diminish as we go throughout the day. That will be nice. A little sun out west with temperatures in the afternoon in the upper teens, but we'll see some upper 20s down in our southern counties with maybe a few peaks at sun tomorrow. Above average temperatures for most. The wind starts to calm down. It should feel like a pretty pleasant Tuesday by the end of the day for most of us. Heading into Wednesday, though, we'll start to see a little bit more in the way of cloudiness as we'll see more of that throughout the week. For your morning tomorrow, temperatures will climb into the 20s, upper 20s by the afternoon. But notice the winds gradually diminish from the 20 mile per hour range to around 10. Elsewhere, teens up in northeast North Dakota and a lot of mid and upper 20s through the southern Red River Valley for a above average day. A frosty start today. This was in Herman, Minnesota. They're in Grant County, just gorgeous with that pristine blue sky. Here is a look. We'll see a lot more clouds going into Wednesday as well, but near 30 once again. Then, if you are traveling down south to Texas, we'll have some very light snow here as a bitter cold air mass starts to sneak its way southward. So enjoy the temperatures. Friday, our best chance of a little bit of accumulation. It does not look like a big deal. Saturday, though, look at the temperature. The bottom falls out of the old bucket there. 10 below on Sunday morning. and. Those Vikings could be playing those Seahawks in some mighty cold air out there. Those Seahawks might want to bring their long underwear the way things are looking because uh, it's going to be a little chilly in Minneapolis. Oh, Shh, don't tell yeah. them that. Oh, don't bring your long johns. Yeah, don't. Right. No. No. As students and teachers head back to the classroom after the holiday break, many of the classrooms won't have a full-time teacher. We'll have details coming up. And the stock market dropped so badly today that it completely halted sales for some time. Find out what this means for the economy.